Hello, uh, this is Matthew Robert Payne and uh, this is a personal prophecy for Yasmin and uh, I just pray and dedicate this to the Lord. Dear Father, give us the words that uh, will bless Yasmin, words to encourage her, words to inspire her, words to lift her up and uh, propel her onto the journey that she's in. In Jesus' name, Amen. Um, when I um, was preparing my coffee, um, I always have a coffee when I'm about to do a prophecy. I just got this sense of joy um, from the Lord. Uh, it's still uh, on me, uh, this joy. And uh, I get a real sense that um, that the, the Lord is uh, really happy with you and uh, you really bring him joy. It's like I, I'm experiencing the joy of heaven uh, right now and uh, it's because you bring him joy. Um, you're a simple person. You're a person who uh, likes the little things and uh, likes the little things in life and likes the details in life. You're a person who enjoys every aspect of life and you really notice the, uh, just every small detail in life it's like uh, some people miss uh, little things and, and the little things that happen and the little things that exist but you uh, appreciate, you love and appreciate every part of life, every aspect of life and every person that you meet. Um, you're a very um, kind person. I, I feel um, when we're born we have a place here on our forehead uh, that says uh, whether or not we're pure. Um, and um, you're um, a person who who is... Um, got a pure heart. Um, it says in Matthew 5 uh, in the Sermon on the Mount, Blessed are the pure in heart for they shall see God. Um, and you, you, you uh, mentioned struggles. Uh, we all go through struggles and uh, the Lord hasn't given me anything specific but what um, he, he has given me is that um, the pure in heart, it says in Matthew, blessed are the pure in heart for they shall see God. Um, the pure in heart uh, seem to attract uh, trouble. They seem to uh, have this uh, mark on their forehead and every demon out there and uh, Satan uh, recognizes that they're special and they're pure hearted people. And so he seems to uh, wage warfare on us and uh, we, um, you know, we can uh, go about our life and it just seems that uh, evil people and uh, people uh, with, with bad intentions seem to lock on to us like a missile locks on to an aeroplane and uh, they shoot their uh, warfare, they shoot their arrows and uh, their bad things uh, toward us. Uh, I feel that... Um, that uh, well, it's, ge it's a general statement that, um, and a general principle that God uses our struggles and our hard times uh, to build character in us. Um, we can't learn to be patient. We can't, simply can't get the gift of patience. Patience isn't a gift; it's a fruit. And we learn patience through um, being put in many situations where we need to be patient, and we just learn to develop that fruit in our life over time through many situations where we needed to exercise patience. So in order for God to build uh, fruit in our life and lasting character traits, uh, he needs us to allow, uh, he needs to allow our struggles to happen in our life and, uh, and that's uh, one of the reasons why we struggle. I see uh, a picture of uh, an umbrella and um, the umbrella is uh, got a young girl in it she's walking down the road and it's raining and all the rain is falling uh, and it's teeming raining but uh, it's safe and dry under the umbrella and there's a few drips uh, going on her clothes and on on, um, on her feet and uh, and the lower part of her leg 
Um, I feel that um, you, I, I, I sense that, uh, uh, I sense this before, but I sense that, uh, well, with the woman, um, not all, warfare can come at us uh, with the young girl. Warfare can come at us, and not of all of us uh, uh, seems to be deflected. Sometimes we get wet feet. Um, sometimes we we get a little part of the warfare affect us. Um, anyone who says that uh, you can uh, be totally protected and the enemy can't touch you um, doesn't seem to have read all the scriptures about suffering and persecutions that Christians will come under. I get a sense that um, uh, some friend has betrayed you. Um, I got a sense while I was uh, uh, drinking my coffee and I don't like people asking specifics because it really stresses me out but I feel a sense of um, betrayal um, like some friendship has uh, broken down and um, these are hard things to cope with especially when we love the friend um, the, the best thing that can heal those situations is, uh, is drawing close to Jesus and uh, having our friendship with Jesus and leaving that situation in Jesus' hands. Um, I've got uh, former friends that uh, turned out to have wrong spirits uh, that uh, it still affects me that I broke off the friendship and broke off uh, communicating with the people. Um, part of me wants to re-establish it, but I've had uh, prophetic words since that said uh, I was acting with my discernment and I've done the right right thing and I've been directed by God uh, and so not to uh, re-establish uh, relationships with the wrong sort of people. So um, I, I feel a sense that uh, you've been hurt in that situation with one or more people and um, all I can say is uh, let any hurt, any struggle uh, that you go through, ha let it help propel you into the arms of Jesus. Uh, Jesus uh, wants to be real uh, in your life. He wants to talk to you. Uh, he wants to talk back and forth with you. Um, I, I release the, the ability uh, to hear Jesus speak and I, um, I release the anointing uh, and ability for you to be a sheep and hear Jesus speak over your life. Uh, so just ask Jesus questions and wait in your mind uh, for uh, a sentence to appear in your mind that's the answer to the question. I really feel that um, uh, I get the scripture what the enemy meant for evil um, God will turn out for good or I, I get um, uh, the, the saying um, whether that's a, I think it's a scripture um, many things uh, that uh, the enemy uh, turn, uh, puts his hand to to affect us and hurt us in our life. Uh, God turns out uh, for good. Romans 8:28 says, "We know that all things work together for good for those who love God and are called according to His purpose." Uh, that verse uh, says that everything uh, will work out good according to God's plans and purposes and uh, sometimes we have to be patient and we've got to go through those turbulent waters. Um, one thing that encourages me uh, is that um, that uh, Jesus uh, is fully aware of um, he's, he's fully aware of our lives um, from the day we were born um, He's got our whole lives planned and uh, he knows in advance, he knows what's going to affect us. Um, it really brings me comfort that uh, no matter what we go through, um, God has um, foreseen that event and foreseen uh, the future and foreseen the consequences and how that's going to work it out. Um, this verse is a comforting verse, Ephesians 1, uh, 4. Um, it says, Just as he chose us in him before the foundation of the world, that we should become holy and without blame before him in love. Um, 
having predestined us to be adopted as sons by Jesus Christ to him according to his good pleasure of his will to the praise and glory of his grace by which he made us accepted in the beloved um, it's comforting to know before the foundation of the world we were chosen, we were predestined to be adopted as children uh, of God uh, through Jesus Christ. Uh, to, to be adopted uh, in, uh, um, in the old times, in Jesus' time, uh, a rich man uh, could uh, um, hire a person as a slave um, and, uh, and uh, the slave could be bought back by the father after time but the father could only uh, sell his child three times on the third time um, uh, the child couldn't be redeemed and it's the actual uh, slave um, person who who sometimes uh, sometimes the son is adopted by a, a, a rich person and when the slave was adopted when the person was adopted when the child was adopted um, the the adopting father was never allowed to sell that son he could sell his natural born sons into slavery but he could never sell the son he adopted so we live in a situation where Jesus was used as a slave uh, for mankind and died for mankind but our father as he's redeemed us has made us um, children and adopted and uh, in the legal sense we can't be sold into slavery again and um, I feel that um, God has uh, enlightened that uh, to me uh, to share with you uh, because there's some seems to be some purpose that uh, that is comforting uh, for you to hear you know that uh, scripture says we can do all things through Christ who strengthens us and uh, Ephesians 3.20 uh, says uh, now to him is able to do exceedingly abundantly all that we ask or think according to the power that works in us according to the power that works in us means that the Holy Spirit uh, works in us to do things that uh, seem impossible to us things that seem um, out of touch, out of reach, things that uh, we, we more abundantly, more than we can ask or think. Uh, so uh, God wants to uh, move you and uh, use you and develop you into something that is uh, far exceeding what you can think about and what you can ask about. Um, our God uh, if we give our lives over to him and allow him to mould us and fashion us um, does wonderful things uh, for us and uh, does uh, exceedingly abundantly more than we can even conceive or believe I feel that um, God wants you to know that you're loved uh, that he saw your issues coming along and he understands um, that uh, their issues, uh, he understands about losing friends, he understands about disruptions, um, he understands everything and uh, he uh, wants to develop uh, his fruit in us, you know, uh, it says uh, it says in John uh, something, I'll just turn to it, um, it says in John that uh, that Every branch that does not bear fruit he takes away and every um, abide in me and I in you as a branch cannot bear fruit in itself unless it abides in the vine neither can you unless you abide in me. Um, Jesus wants us to live and uh, give ourselves over and be free and walk in the Spirit, allow the Holy Spirit to direct our lives and uh, run our lives and uh, he wants us in that abiding relationship where there is no us anymore that there's only Jesus living through us uh, and having his way through us so um, 
I feel um, that uh, God is uh, wooing you and Jesus is wooing you and uh, romancing you and asking you to uh, come closer and uh, he's already prepared a place for you he has always already prepared a place for you to uh, uh, exist uh, closer to him and he's got rewards and he's got things to say and he's got uh, uh, a sort of life uh, to be able to live that's more fulfilling and it's more loving and it's more um, successful and uh, abundant than uh, the life that you live. I, I pray uh, also that God would supernaturally uh, through other people uh, and through any means he chooses to bless you that uh, you would uh, get the money uh, that you spent uh, requesting this prophecy um, back uh, five to tenfold so that uh, you know that it came supernaturally through someone else that you know you've been repaid for this I pray uh, blessings on you I pray uh, the favour of God uh, on you um, I pray that uh, you walk in favour uh, that uh, your life would be marked uh, by God and uh, people would be able to say here is a girl that uh, is blessed and loved by God and people will be able to tell the difference between you and someone else. Um, it says in Psalm 1 verse 3, He shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of waters that brings forth its fruit in season, whose leaf also shall not wither, and whatever he does shall prosper. I pray uh, that... Uh, prospering in all you do and whatever you put your hand to uh, to come over to you, to you come over you and settle on you that uh, that uh, this favor would start to flow in your life and for you to see a marked difference uh, from this prophecy that everything starts to uh, start to go right and uh, there seems to be uh, ease in doing things and ease in moving in in the things that God calls you to do and things will become uh, almost effortless uh, for you to achieve uh, pray that favor over your life and um, I um, I, I pray that uh, this has helped you and it's blessed you I'd love to uh, hear some uh, feedback uh, from you on this prophetic word if you've watched this uh, prophecy you can go into the request bar down below into the information bar below and see where you can request the prophecy of me um, thank you very much and uh, god bless you and i look forward to your feedback